Here. Now at, our coverage continues right now at five of the Derek Chauvin trial. Today, for the first time, we are seeing surveillance video of George Floyd walking around inside Cup Foods. The never before seen footage shows Floyd talking to employees and eventually handing Christopher Martin an apparent counterfeit $20 bill to buy cigarettes. That that video and Martin's testimony was just part of an extremely emotional day in the courtroom. First, inside Cup Foods, Martin testified that he told his manager about the counterfeit bill and his manager called police after Floyd wouldn't come back inside the store. After witnessing what later happened with Chauvin, Martin says he feels guilty. What was going through your mind during that time period? Uh, disbelief and guilt. Okay. Why guilt? Um, if I would have just not took in the bill. This could have been avoided. And later this afternoon, more emotional testimony from 61 year old Charles McMillan, who broke down and sobbed on the stand. This is just so hard to watch and so heartbreaking. Danny, what led up to that moment? Well, Rena McMillan was really being forced to relive that day of May 25th all over again this afternoon. That was when he just happened to be driving by. He lives in the area of 38th and Chicago, was curious, pulled over, and then saw most of the encounter between Floyd and the officers. So today, he actually was seeing some of the body camera footage, and that's when you started to see him break down. But he was a crucial witness because it allowed the state to introduce that body camera footage for the first time to the jury. And then, of course, we saw much more later in the afternoon. When you see the video, you'll see McMillan point himself out and where he is in relation to the officers. Again, I want to mention the jurors had not seen any of this video until today. It shows the officers in the lead up trying to get Floyd into the squad car before they take him to the ground where Chauvin puts his knee on top of Floyd. You can hear in many videos, including the bystander videos, that McMillan was telling Floyd to comply with the officers. Floyd was saying he can't because he's being restrained. And at that point, really in the middle of some of this video, McMillan, as I mentioned, became so overwhelmed that they just had to stop it. Can you just explain sort of what you're feeling in this moment? I can I feel helpless. I don't have a mama either, but I understand him. Now, when the court took a 10 minute break, they came back and then something very significant happened with McMillan on the stand. The prosecution introduced new body camera video that was never released publicly until today, showing an interaction between McMillan and Chauvin in the aftermath, after Floyd had already been taken away by the ambulance. Listen to that. I'm gonna control this guy because he's a sizable guy. Yeah, and I thought, and I thought looks he like, didn't get in the car. Looks, looks like he's probably on something. And that is significant because it is really the first time we've ever heard Chauvin offer a defense for his actions on May 25th. It is unclear if he's going to eventually testify in this trial, but that piece of evidence you just heard will be very important moving forward. Rena. Danny, uh, later in the day, they played a lot of that body camera video back to back to back. Uh, you know, here we were able to turn off the video or turn off the sound, but those in the courtroom weren't able to do that. What kind of reaction were you seeing from people? You know, it's difficult because we're in the media center due to COVID, so we can't see the jurors. That's the big question, as Lou was mentioning earlier, uh, just, you know, what their reaction was. But I can tell you, the lieutenant from the Minneapolis Police Department who was on the stand at one point appeared to wipe a tear from his eye. We were also looking at Chauvin. He appeared to be taking notes at times, but wasn't really offering any reaction, kind of looking down, looking up, blinking a lot, um, but, but not really moving very much. A tough, tough day. All right. Thank you, Danny.